this tutorial, we'll look at components in Figma and how you can use them to automate your design workflow and ultimately save a ton of time when you're designing. But let's start with the basics. Let's look at what are components. Components are elements that you can repurpose in your Figma design files or across multiple design files. So if we look at a quick example, I have some components here on the left, and one of them is this primary button. So this is what's known as the main component. And then here on the right in the actual designs, I have what's called instances of the main component that appear here, here, and here. And you can think of the relationship of main component to instances almost like a parent-child relationship. So all of these instances are linked to the main component and share similar styles. And here's where components get really useful. So imagine I wanna change the appearance of this primary button. Instead of going in each screen and changing the style one by one, what I can do is just change the main component here. So I'll actually add a stroke to it, change that to white, remove the fill, and then change the text to white as well. And as you can see, those changes rippled across all of the different instances. And this will save you a ton of time when you're designing because again, you don't have to go in one by one and change each button style. And also it keeps your designs more consistent because as you're designing, you don't need to kind of start from scratch and design that button over and over again, which could lead to inconsistencies. So let's look at how to create a component. And doing this in Figma is really simple. All you need is a layer, a frame, or a group. And then when you select that element that you wanna create a component with, in this case I have this frame, which is secondary button, I'll right click and then select Create Component. You can also hit Option Command K on the keyboard. And once you do that, you'll notice that that element actually goes from blue to purple, which means it's now a component. You'll also notice that there are four diamonds to the left of the name of that component, which means it's the main component. And an instance would just have one diamond, which kind of lets you differentiate what's the main and what's an instance. Um, so for now, we'll keep this main component here to the left and I'll actually order this. I'll put it next to the primary button. And now we're ready to start creating instances. So once you create a component, the way to actually use it in your designs is by creating instances. And just like I mentioned before, instances are effectively children of that main component that share the exactly the same style. So to create instances in this file, what I'll do is get rid of these buttons here, and then we'll swap them out for instances of this secondary button component. And the way that I typically do that is by holding Option on the keyboard, selecting this component here, and then dragging that over into the actual designs. And what that does is create an instance or a duplicate of that component. And the way that you can tell it's an instance and not the actual main component is by looking at this layer panel here on the left and you'll just see an empty diamond next to the layer name. And the difference here is if I click on the main component, you'll see four diamonds um, next to the actual layer name, which means it's the main component. Another way to create an instance is by pressing Command D. And this will essentially duplicate that layer now you have the main component and the instance right next to it. And then the last way is if you click on the assets tab here in the left panel, you'll see that you'll have all your main components that exist in your file. And then you can just drag these into your designs as well. And this last way is especially helpful if you have a large design system with hundreds of different components. Um, you can actually search through all the components here and then drag them into your file as you need them. Um, so I'll add this one here to the design. And then by holding Option on the keyboard, I'll drag this final secondary button into this screen, change the width of that, and then we can actually change the text on these buttons as well. So add to order, learn more, and order now. So now let's imagine I want to edit the style of this secondary button component and I want the changes that I make to ripple across all of the different instances. What I can do is go to my main component. And by the way, if you're having a hard time finding your main component, um, which can happen a lot as you're designing and creating components, they might get lost in your file. Um, a good tip is if you right click on an instance 
and then select main component and then click on go to main component. Figma will actually take you to the main component and this is where you can make your style changes. Um, so in this case, we, we can do multiple things. So I can change the color of this button if I wanna change it to black, you know, or even if I wanted to knock out that fill and add a stroke to it, just like we did before. Um, in this case, we'll just make a very subtle change. Um, all I wanna do is change the corner radius of the secondary button um, to four pixels. So I'll click on the button and then here on the right, I'll change this to four. And as you can see, that's updated on the main component. And now if we look at our different instances, the change actually rippled across as well. What you might also notice is the text change that we made in these instances. So for instance, I, I changed to order now or learn more, add to order. Those remained when I made changes to the main component. And this is what's known as an override. So overrides are really useful when you wanna make changes just to a specific instance of a component without impacting all of the other instances or even the main component. Um, so a good example here is with this order now button, if I wanted to change it to more of a muted gray because it's inactive for instance, I'll do that here on the right. And then you'll notice that the changes only impacted this specific instance. So they didn't ripple across these two buttons here or that main component. And again, this is really helpful if you just want an ad hoc version of your component, but you don't wanna make changes to all of the other ones. There might also be times where you wanna create an entirely new component, but you don't wanna start from scratch and you just wanna reuse one of your existing instances or components to create that new component. So a good example here is, imagine I wanna create a third button style that's an inactive button and I, I just wanna use this instance here. Um, so I've already changed the style to a lighter gray, which looks different than the other two styles. Um, and what I can actually do is right click on that instance and select detach instance. And this essentially breaks the link from the main component. So these are no longer linked. And now I can actually just use this element here to create an entirely new component. So I'll right click, select create component, and then we'll change the name of that to inactive button. And then I'll drag this over into my component library here. Let me just move these down. And then I'll hold alt to add an instance of that back into the design. So another great thing about components is that once you have a few in your Figma file, you can actually swap out instances. So imagine in these screens, I wanna swap out all of these instances for that primary button style. So typically I'd have to remove this instance and then create another instance of that primary button and go one by one. But with components, I can actually just select all of these instances. And then here in the right panel where it says mixed, Click that, you'll see the swap instance drop down menu, and then I'll select primary button. And what that does is it swaps out all of the instances for that primary button style, which is a lot quicker than going in one by one. Now, something to keep in mind is as you're using these components in your designs, it can become increasingly harder to keep track of all your different main components. So what you wanna do is stay organized and actually keep your main components separate from your designs. Um, so that's what I've done here. I have a section for all of my different main components. Um, another way that you can do it is add a page um, to your Figma design file. So here on the left, we'll just add a new page. We'll call that components. And then I'll cut and paste these into that components page. And now they just live a little bit separate from the actual designs and they're easier to manage. And this is really helpful when you have a huge library of components. Um, it's just easier to have them on a separate page and that way they're separate from your actual designs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Figma components. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And also check out butteracademy.com where you can learn about our UX design course, which covers the ins and outs of user experience design with videos and tutorials just like this one. Yeah.